Hey everyone! Today no. I want to introduce to you all Zen, who is the graphic designer at Pugly. The sketch recording is a bit weird because for some reason the footage just didn't actually record, so it is more of a reveal than a sketch. Zen joined on for the Black Lives Matter campaign, creating the shop banners and digital wallpapers that a lot of you have donated to. They have just done such an immense, amazing amount of work. I am so excited to have them on board to help me create so many more cute wallpapers, merchandise, banners, and complimentary designs for all the social media posts for the adventures that Pugly will go on. So without further ado, Zen, do you want to to intro yourself in your own words and what do you think of the reveal so far well first of all that's that's freaking delightful <laughs> I, i'm especially enjoying the little animal crossing style triangle nose that's that's my jam right there well i'm a, a lot more for pictures than words but let me see what i can do yo i'm zen i am a graphic designer by trade illustrator by hobby i play a lot of binge games and i really like dogs and that's kind of how i ended up here with ugly yeah you know you you pretty succinctly put it together you got me you got me in one yeah <laughs> First of all, what got you into graphic design and illustration? Pragmatic reasons, honestly. Like, I, I knew I wanted to be an artist of some kind from like the fourth grade onward, but I was also raised by like a very career oriented mom. So I was like Ooh. acutely aware of needing something that would be financially sustainable. And unfortunately, <laughs> this starving artist stereotype is, is rooted in truth. So I did some research and by the beginning of high school, I kind of settled on graphic design and I haven't looked back since then. It also kind of happens to scratch some itches of mine. I like organizing information, lining things visually. I like patterns, color palettes, coming up with presentation for ideas. I love typography, but that was actually a late bloom. It was actually my worst subject in college. What? I, really? Yeah, it was my worst subject. And I got so mad about the fact that I was bad at it, that I hyper-focused on getting really good at it. And when I graduated, it was my best subject. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's kind of wild to me because you're so good at typography. I'm not sure if you fans have noticed, but like the typography on Pugly has become so much more creative and so much better. Really thanks to Zen. I, I'm not great at typography. I just choose a font that I like the look of and I'm like, put it together. Ship it. Oh, you can read it. <laughs> now it's on it. Hooray. Yes. That's amazing. That's really funny because you're, you're, even just you deciding on this at the beginning of high school is so wild to me because I literally got into, I chose art. I always had an affinity towards like drawing and art as most of us do, but like I didn't decide until like grade 12 as we we're about to graduate high school. I mean, are you going to be a uh, biologist or an artist since I enjoy art just a teensy bit more than biology? I guess I'm going to art. My mom was not for it. <laughs> My mom's uh, like super career oriented. You gotta be the breadwinner in your family. And I'm like, well, I guess I should actually pick a job that makes money. <laughs> but how can I do g that and also bread. do art at the same time? Graphic design, it is an art form, but it's also a vehicle for other types of art to be presented. It's a, it's communication and I'm, I'm very much about that. Outside of work-related activities and being a pup parent, what else are you interested in or that you do? As I mentioned before, I'm a, I'm a big gamer. Um, <laughs> Like pretty much if I have spare time, I'm playing games. I like all kinds, basically. I like narrative oriented stories, fighting games, RPGs, like silly quick online games like Jackbox, like Among Us. That's that's where my jams are. A lot of my inspiration comes from video games and that sort of thing. I, I low key enjoy photography. I try to take artsy pictures every now and then, whether it's of my dog or like sometimes I just like to go to like a greenhouse at Canadian Tire or something and just like take pictures mm. of the flowers. I mean, besides that, most of my life revolves around the very small dog that I live with now. So um, <laughs> a lot of my hobbies are now dog oriented. Is there anything you're looking forward to or are excited about uh, being on the Pugly team? I do gotta mention that I have my own little dog character by the yeah. name of Comet. Happens to be a space alien dog made of stardust. I don't know, it would be pretty cool to see, uh, you know, Pugly Comet hanging out in space, just chilling. Soon, soon, <laughs> um, soon. Yeah, soon. so I'm, <laughs> I'm excited about that possibility. And even like the possibility of collabing with you guys on bench and stuff, because I'm very much in like the con scene. When I first came to Vancouver from Ontario, I walked by the Pugly booth and I was like, oh man, that guy got his, his look is so put together, feeling it, everything just yeah. looks so, so thought through. And I'm like, that's the kind of table that I want to have. Like when I eventually do this Artist Alley stuff. So it's wild to me that I went from that to doing my own Artist Alley stuff and now actually being part of the Pugly team, it's like, sweet. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, <laughs> you didn't I know love, that, did you? No, I did not. 
I got, I got, I got, I bamboozled. I got blindsided. I love branding. I love graphic design. I am really proud of Pugly's branding, but at the same time, I feel like I can do more. And I'm really excited to work with you to like help Pugly grow. And also like whenever you show me your your ideas and your series and your thoughts for Comet, I'm also really excited. I'm like, oh, I want to see more from you too. That space collaboration that we talked about, 2021, we'll, we'll make it vibrating intensifies. <laughs> exactly. Oh, hang on a second. Who did it? Ah, hello! Hi! Say hi, Nova. Oh my god. What's going on? What's She's going so on? stunned. <laughs> She's made of ears and tail and love. Mm -hmm. Her name is Nova because I'm obsessed with space. May have um been hinted at. Uh, yeah, space is lit, yo. <laughs> Are there any really sweet or endearing or neat interactions or moments that you've experienced in your time at Pugly? I think one of the best parts of it is that like once I once in a while, like when I'm working at my desk, where I'm working from home right now, and so is my mm -hmm. wife. Every now and then she'll walk behind my computer while I'm working on Pugly stuff and she just goes, Ice cream Puggo! <laughs> We're like, Froggy Puggo! <laughs> she's adorable and she's adorable and it just makes every every day a little more. Adorable, right, Nova? Hi, welcome back. So sweet. And they're poots, so Nova. <laughs> so many poots. Ooh, does she have the uh, silent and deadly type of farts? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> So like my parents have like two dogs, right? Like I call them the two idiots, but one of them, she she has never made a sound with her farts and her farts are always just perfectly fine. You wouldn't even know she, she farts. I don't even know yeah. to this day if she farts. But the other one, the big fat cloud one, every oh, yeah. time she farts, it's so grotesque. You have to evacuate the room. It's and like she's always, yeah. The first time I had like this group of friends over way back then, she's sitting yeah. beside my friend. It's just perfectly fine. We're hanging out. And then suddenly my friend jumps up and he's like, oh, oh, what, what's that smell? It, it takes a while to waft over. It, if I could describe this, in, the invisibility of this fart, it's almost like a slow roll. And yeah. so I finally, it finally wafts over and I've yeah. gotten used to like what the smell is. And I'm like, yeah. oh, that's, that's Bebe. And then he's just like, that came from your dog. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I hope you've been, been blessed with Nova and the smellless sense of space that comes out of her bum. <laughs> so far, so good. You wanna poodle on with Pugly? Pugly plushie would be like half her size. <laughs> <laughs> she loves plushies though. Those are her favorite toys, that and her, and her rope. Does she like love to cuddle with them or does she kind of love like uh, uh, throwing them around and like playing with them? She likes to use them as pillows. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I have fans send uh, pictures because they have their own little fur babies, right? Yeah. And they'll have like a puggy plushie. And some of them will be like sleeping with them. And then others like like to eat their toes, <laughs> like like to eat Pugly's toes. And I'm oh, like, no. that's so cute and it's so sad. <laughs> Sorry, Pugly, it's for a good cause. So Zen, where can my fans find more of you, more of Comet? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm mostly active on Twitter. I'm basically on there all the time. It's at Zenami Design. Zenami is what you call it, a palindrome. Uh, it's the word Zen and the word Ami in French. Uh, it just means chill friend. I'm a chill friend. Just a friend who's chill. What? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's what so cool. Find me on Twitter. I also have an Instagram uh, under the same username. Super easy to find. And I do some motion graphic stuff occasionally on the YouTubes. Uh, same username again. <laughs> I make myself pretty easy to find. And uh, yeah, I also have an online shop where you can check out uh, Comet stuff and uh, all the other lettering and typography things that I do. I really like to make like one-off stickers. Comet's always chill in there. Um, and I, I am planning to expand the line as it were over the coming year. So it's a great time to hop on board and follow and check it out. Yeah. All right, so everyone, please make sure to check out Zanami Designs on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and their store. I will have the information in the description and also in the end card as always. Zen, thank you so much for joining along and agreeing to this interview and thank Nova for me for showing up. He 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 he. Of course, I will pass on your love and Pugly's love. All right, well, everyone, have a good night. Bye-bye.